Good morning and welcome to the Crafty Canary for your tip on Tuesday. Today, I have a really fun tip for you about how to use some coffee filters in a more creative way. Now, this is a little bit unique because today I'm going to talk about a small coffee filter that actually fits in my Keurig. So I have this because I don't want to spend so much money on pods. I'm, as you know, I'm frugal, I'm cheap. So I have this, but you have to buy those little filters to go into this. And in trying again to save some money, my husband ordered some cheaper ones, not realizing that the ones he ordered did not have a top. And we thought that that would work okay because the filter itself has a top, the pod itself has a top, so this is what we ordered. But when you put these on in instead of the ones with the top, grounds get into your coffee cup every time. I've even tried taking this thing kind of apart, taking a second one and putting it on top as a top and it still gets coffee grounds everywhere. So these are not functional for our coffee, for our Keurig, for our coffee maker. But you know, of course, again, that I don't wanna throw something I've paid for out. So I'm thinking, what can I do with these things? And I came up with a great idea. I actually also love to drink tea and I love to use loose leaf tea. I have a friend that owns a tea room and she makes her own blends and they're delicious. But I also have trouble when I use the loose leaf tea of getting the tea leaves in my tea. And I don't like that. I don't want coffee grounds. I don't want tea leaves in my cup. Um, and I don't want them in my mouth. I don't want them in the bottom of my cup. So I have several things to try to avoid that, but they don't work that great. So I have this, which is a beautiful cup. It's great. It has an inner cup that you put your tea leaves in, and then you pour your water over that, steep it with the lid, all convenient. But the holes in this are so big that I actually get the tea grounds or the tea leaves in my tea. So this doesn't work that well. Love it, but it doesn't work that well. I also have this, which the holes are very tiny. You put your tea leaves in this, put the lid on, screw it on good. Don't get tea leaves in the tea, but you have to wash this. And that is, of course, kind of, of, of course, a first world problem, but it's my own thing that I don't like to dig out the tea grounds and have to wash this thing every time I want tea. So here's how I'm gonna use my small filters that do not have a lid. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit to give it a little bit more room because these are pretty tiny. And I'm gonna take my loose leaf tea, sorry for turning my back on you, and put a couple of spoonfuls in there. Now, I don't like my tea very strong, so I don't put very much. And I'm going to close that together really good, kind of twist it just a little. And I have some cooking twine, some cooking string. I keep this because when I do a turkey, I might need it. When I do a roast, I might need it. So it's just in my um, drawer in my kitchen for use with meat, but I keep it clean. Of course, it hasn't been used with meat. It's a clean string and I'm gonna use it to tie up my tea bag. So let me get that. That's not the easiest part of this, but you wanna make sure that it's tied really well and really tight. So again, it's not gonna come loose and you're not gonna have tea leaves in your uh, cup. And notice that I have taken a really pretty good length of string. I didn't cut it too short because I want it like a tea bag. When you buy a tea bag at the grocery store, you want it, <laughs> that's a little bit too long, but you want it to be pretty long so that it's not gonna drop down into your hot water when you pour the water in and you'll still have something to take this out with. So I've got my cup here, I've got my hot water over here, and I'm gonna pour that in making sure that my string doesn't get, you know, pulled down into the teacup by the water. I'm gonna steep it for five minutes and I will be right back. So my tea has steeped for five minutes. I'm gonna uncover it and you can see that I have my tea bag here that I can just take out and put on my plate and have a nice cup of tea with no leaves, I don't wanna tip it too far and pour it out, but no tea leaves in that tea at all. Now, you may be saying, hey lady, I don't have those little filters, so what's the point of this video? You know, And you also might be saying, I like my tea stronger than that. You do not put very much tea and that's not very strong. What you can do is use a regular 
coffee filter, and these are super cheap. You can buy hundreds of these at the big box store or at the dollar store for really, really cheap. And you can get more tea in this and do the same thing. Just put your tea leaves in there, uh, close it up, twist it up, tie it with a piece of twine. And again, that's not very expensive either. And you can that can have more uses than just one also. So you can do that. And these coffee filters are so handy for different household items, different household projects and craft projects that I probably am gonna do some more videos on ways that you can use these filters because these really are amazing little things that can do lots of different things around the house. Now, one more free tip that nobody asked for, nobody maybe even wanted, but I discovered as I was setting up for this video. If you ever wanna see how dirty your coffee maker and your backsplash are, set a couple of ring lights up or maybe even the flashlight on your phone and show them at your coffee filter and you will see how dirty it is. I cleaned it before I started the video. Don't inspect too hard because it may be still a little bit dirty, but man, that's a really good way to show off what you need to do and what you need to clean by shining a bright light on it. Isn't that kind of like life? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and come back next week for another great tip on Tuesday. We'll see you next time.